Hi friends, I created this video to explain some of your options as far as keeping your course content updated and saving content from year to year. First, let's talk about shell courses. At the start of the year, Canvas will create a course for each subject you teach based on the courses you have in eSchool, and we call these shell courses. What's great about these courses is that they sync nightly, so they will stay up to date as students have schedule changes. Now when you first see these on your dashboard, they will have students, but they will not have any content. And we know that these shell courses are archived at the end of the year, so that the following year, new shell courses can be created for you based on the new classes that you'll teach. So the big thing you need to consider is how you will save your content from year to year when your shell courses go away. In particular, you want to be able to access your content in a place where you can make changes to it over the summer. Now, if you are a singleton teacher, you may prefer to use something we call a summer sandbox. With a summer sandbox, you work in your shell courses all year long, and then you copy all the content to an empty course right before summer break. You can work in the sandbox course over the summer to make any needed changes, and in the fall when you come back, you can copy all of that content into your new shell course. You can also copy things one at a time as you need them. You can use this method if you have a team as well, but each teacher would have to be a teacher on that summer sandbox course, and each teacher would have to update their own shell course every time you needed to change something. Wouldn't it be great if you could just have one person update the course and then all the changes magically were pushed out to the courses for everyone on the team? Well, you can, and the way that you would do that is by using blueprints. A blueprint is a special type of Canvas course that you will recognize by the blue tab in the upper right corner of the screen when you're in it. A blueprint can never have any students enrolled in it, but can have multiple teachers. In a blueprint, you build course content that can then be synced with multiple shell courses. While teachers cannot create blueprints on their own, they can create a new blank course, build content in it, and then have their DLC convert it to a blueprint whenever they're ready. Blueprints don't get deleted from year to year, and you can work in them over the summer if you would like. There are two reasons we use blueprints. Number one, because it allows teachers in a PLC to build content in one place and then distribute that content to their individual shell courses. And number two, because it helps us easily keep your content from year to year. One of the first things that your DLC will do when the shell courses are created in the fall is to associate the shell courses with your blueprints. Once that association is made, all the content in your blueprint will automatically sync into your shell courses. Everything you did last year in your blueprint is now in your new course and you're ready to roll. It's important, therefore, that your blueprint is set up just the way you want it before that initial association takes place. That means you want to make sure any new template for the year is already imported and you want to hide or unpublish any content that you don't want students to see yet. As a side note, we never put due dates on anything in a blueprint, and that's because each teacher will want to assign due dates differently for their A and B day classes. Let's talk for a moment about breaking the sink. The biggest thing that I get calls about throughout the year, usually in a panic, is when the sink stops working between a blueprint and a shell course. So I want to explain why that happens and why it's not a big deal. Anytime you edit an item in your shell course that came from your blueprint, you will break the sync with that item. A sync can be broken in one particular item in a course or a whole module. Canvas is designed that way on purpose. They know teachers aren't robots and that not every class has the same schedule and that sometimes teachers want to make small changes to what happens in their classroom. It would be terrible if you spent a bunch of time revising something for your class only to have it overwritten when a new change was made in the blueprint. What you need to remember is that your blueprint and your shell course are not meant to be mirror images of each other. The goal of the blueprint is to keep that content for next year and to help you design that content originally and push it out. That's it. Every time you set due dates for an assignment, you will break your sync with that assignment and it's fine. 
When I get phone calls about this, it's usually because a group of teachers created an assignment, pushed it to their classes, set due dates on it, which broke the sync, and then went back and decided to revise the assignment in the blueprint. And while that's all fine and good because you want to have the best version to keep for next year, those new revisions aren't going to sync. Now let's say you have a lesson and you know you're still working on it and you don't want anyone messing with it and accidentally breaking the sync. In that case, use the lock feature in the blueprint and that will keep anyone from changing it. It makes it uneditable in a shell course. Let's talk about the end of the year with blueprints. If you use a blueprint, then at the end of the year, you will wanna clean it up. Get rid of stuff you don't want, hide or unpublish everything, and basically get it ready for the start of the next year. If you decide you no longer wish to use a blueprint or that you want to start with a clean slate, just talk to your DLC and they can make that happen for you. There isn't just one right answer for how to run your Canvas course, so I hope you'll use this information to make the best decision for you. And if you need any help, please contact your DLC for advice.